Listen. B. Look at the pictures below. Then listen to a TV news broadcast about a crime and tick what happened. And now on to Tuesday's robbery at the Richmond Bank on Talbot Street. As we reported on Tuesday night, a bank robber entered the bank at 9:13 a.m. and demanded that the teller, a Miss Judy Parler, give him all the money. He got away with thirty-four thousand pounds, but luckily nobody was hurt during the incident. Well, I say nobody, but actually the robber himself was attacked before he left the bank. And here you can see a video taken by a customer in the bank on his mobile. You may have already seen this because it's all over the internet at the moment. There's the bank robber entering the bank. He's wearing a mask, so you can't see his face. Now, can you see the little old lady by the door? Well, just keep your eye on her. After the hold-up, the bank robber takes the money and pauses to check the coast is clear. Then suddenly, bang! The old lady smashes him right in the face with her shopping bag. She almost knocks him over. She's shouting at him now, and he stumbles out of the bank and gets away. Well, that elderly hero's name is Hilda Moon, and she is on the line now. Hello, Mrs. Moon. Hello. Tell me, why did you risk your life at the bank? Well, I saw that nobody else was doing anything, so I had no choice. Weren't you scared? Not really. I'm an old woman. He wouldn't attack me, would he? And can I ask you, what was in the bag? I mean, you seem to give the robber an almighty whack. Well. I usually buy a fresh chicken from the butcher's on Tuesday morning, but I didn't have time that day, so I got a frozen one from the supermarket. But they're never as nice, are they? I see. Hmm.、Uh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Moon, but we have a breaking news story, and it concerns the bank robbery. Mike Gilbert is at the scene. Where are you, Mike? Hi, Chris. Well, you're not going to believe this, but I'm outside a house on Waterford Road. Where police have just arrested the man who robbed the bank on Tuesday. That's great, but how did they find him? That's the amazing part. Police investigating the case found a tooth at the scene of the crime. They did DNA testing on the tooth and found its owner, a known criminal. His name is Fred Hitchin of 17 Waterford Road. Police searched his house and found the money. That's remarkable, and it's all down to you, Mrs. Moon. And your frozen chicken. That's lovely, but I don't think I'll be getting another frozen chicken. It didn't taste very good, and my husband complained that. It Listen, B.